On a hot afternoon, a man in a long robe rushed in, riding his motorcycle, carrying a shattered hydraulic pump cylinder. Since Uncle Ahmed was busy on another YouTube channel, <clears throat> the man brought it instead to another master craftsman, Uncle Malik. With careful eyes, Uncle Malik examined the damaged part. After agreeing on a repair cost of 2,000 rupees, he immediately mounted the cylinder onto the lathe. His movements were smooth, as if the machine itself was his lifelong friend. He picked up the cutting tool, stared at the cylinder with deep focus, and slowly shaved away the broken, damaged surface. Sparks and metal chips fell like snow, but Uncle Malik didn't flinch. This was just the beginning. Next, he switched to an internal boring tool, enlarging the diameter of the inner bore step by step. In his hands, the tool looked like a magic chisel, carving a new life into the cylinder wall. Then came the replacement component he had prepared. Placing it on the lathe, his eyes sharpened with unshakable focus. To assure perfect precision, he brought out his secret weapon, the micrometer. Every careful measurement brought the component closer to the exact tolerance needed. For a part like this, even the tiniest error could ruin the entire hydraulic system. When the measurements finally matched, Uncle Malik gave a satisfied nod. With confidence, he pressed the part into place, sometimes with the help of a firm hammer strike. The sound was like the component protesting, but also like it was finally being forced back into service. The reassembled hydraulic shell was returned to the lathe for further finishing. After smoothing and refining the surface, Uncle Malik grabbed his marker and without hesitation made precise markings by eye alone. It was as if his vision itself was a ruler. His quick, confident movements left bystanders in awe. The part was then moved to a radial drill. One by one, each hole was drilled at high speed, the spinning bit humming like a battlefield in motion. Afterward, the component returned to the lathe once again for a larger central bore, with Uncle Malik swapping drill bits step by step for a flawless finish. Finally, using the internal boring tool, he cleaned and refined the edges, and the hydraulic pump body was complete. Looking at his work, Uncle Malik smiled with quiet pride.